Good morning, everybody. I'm going to do a video real quick this morning. I'm excited to work on this journal uh, with the paper kit from a uh, digital kit from Etsy that I got from Joey Cardmaker. I thought I absolutely adore him and the paper, but he is, oh, he's the sweetest guy. Okay, so I've pulled a bunch of stuff. I've got some kind of weird ideas. I have this old suitcase latch that I wish I had on here. So that's not out of the question yet. Um, I thought I'd make some kind of a little thing up here. I'm gonna do that first. I've started working on it off camera before I started all this piddly work. This is a piece of fabric that I Mod Podged Hear that? That's cinnamon on there. And um, I did it several pieces. This one, I don't think I put wax on it. I think it's Mod Podge. This is a different piece. This would, wouldn't this be a cute tab? This one has, this one has wax. Maybe they all do. Yeah, I can see it now. I painted wax on them. This is completely grunge. Oh my gosh. I wish you could smell it. This is a, a very vintage, I don't know, 1940s tablecloth. Took everything I had to cut that up. This is the dress I wore to my daughter's wedding <laughs> in 2009. See the little sequins? It was a lavender. Her colors were sage green and lavender. Anyway, so that's the track I'm on with this, I thought I'd make a little tab up here. All this junk pulled. Um, I'm going to fabric tack this on and then add to it. Cut it like a, like a, a banner. I think I'm going to fold it over the top somehow. I don't know if I like that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Put a whole bunch of this on there. Because I want to attach... I made one of these in a previous video. I made several. Um, I could just have different things I want to attach and dangle off. So... Um, that's where I'm going with this. I'm going to wipe. Okay. Let's see, I need to make sure that doesn't stick. Okay. So then I thought I would take this little piece of doily and I wove a piece of eyelash trim through it so it had something to hang on to. I guess I could tie it. Isn't that funky? Okay. Whoops, I just totally pulled that out. Well, we'll just glue it on. No reason to make things more complicated, is there? Okay. There's that. And I'll glue this little doily on. Ooh, sticky. I kind of want that fabric to show. Then I made a bunch of these little, um, last week I made these in a video. Thought I would pin one of these on. I get excited for the embellishments part. And rusty pins are so hard to attach. There's that dangle. And then I've got this one. Let's see. 
I'll take it through the pin. I don't know if this will work. But you can see I need to grunge up the back. Sure, that'll work. No, I don't like that. Changed my mind. All we can do is try, trial and error. How am I gonna pin this? Let's see. Come on. Okay. I don't like that either. That's pulling the doily down. Okay, this is gonna have to go through. Oh, that's gonna be tough. I think I'll poke a hole first. I have to go through. Yeah. See if that'll make it easier. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. When I, when I attached the pin to the doily, it pulled it down. I could have added more glue. But I'll just, I think I'll just force it through this. There we go. And it can pop up off the top. There we go. There, I like that better. Oops, what the heck. All right. Nothing a little glue won't help. Yes, I hear you, my little boy. What do you want? Okay. Oh, I'm getting my leg rubbed. Nice baby kitty. Okay, then I think this will go. Maybe I will use a bulb pin. And I may shorten this string. No. Let's see. Maybe from behind? How about to this? There. How cute. How cute is that? Okay. I like that. Okay, I was excited to do that. Now I need something for this pocket. I found some of these old um, digitals I printed out. I think these were from, I don't know, I can't say. I know I got them on Etsy. French, French documents. Stick these in. Then I tucked this in. It's an old receipt. I can't recall who I got these from. I'll try to figure it out and put it in. Description. This envelope I made the other day. This is Joey's papers. So that that would be cute with a button or something. Um, I took an old envelope, tore it, glued the bottom, tore off the top, and made a little pocket, a pocket. Stuck that in. That's all I've got in there so far. I made this book the other day. This little book, little pamphlet. On to the next. This is when you tear the, the pages out of a book. This is the binding. And it's just lovely. So I think I'm going to glue this on a page. I don't think it. I know it. It would make a, you know what? It would make a cute belly band, actually. Let's do that. What am I going to do with this paper? I'll have to tear this off. I'm 
I'm gonna ink that up the right get the right right spongy thing. Oops, I got a little heavy there. I need to get a little heavy handed. That's okay. See how much that adds. Oh my gosh, cat. You needy child. I've raised my kids. Move on. Okay. Yeah. Should I go that way? If I go this way, I can kind of hoard some of it. Um, what am I doing over here? Okay. I think I'll go this way and then I can hoard a bit. How silly is that? Boy, you, you know, you can literally do something with everything from a book. There's no wasting. We're sparing the landfill. I keep telling myself, I'm sparing the landfill. Okay. That's cute. That's so cute. I have a stamp here. That might be kind of cute. These are from, um, what is she called? 19, I'm a looking, I'm a looking. 1924 linens and more. I've ordered quite a bit from her. She's on eBay, she's on Instagram. She sends these lovely vintage, well, old stamps. I don't know how vintage they are. She stitches them together in a string. She does all kinds of neat things. Put that on there. These are her, um, like a chain of stamps. How cute is that? Then you just cut them off. They're all zigzagged on. I keep them handy, but I hoard them. Oh, I hoard them so bad. In fact, this is one of her envelopes. Okay, that's a cute pocket. I'm just going to stick something in there quick. Oops, that didn't stick. Take get too uh, rambunctious with my stuff. This is uh, one of her envelopes that she sells. She decoupages an image on it, but it's got the old stamps and the old handwriting. I popped this in it. I don't know where I got this. I think this might have been a gift from Amy. I'm not sure. A crafty cat. And then I um I tore this, it was it was sealed. So I tore it open, worked at it, and got it. But this was so worn that I put washi tape on it front and back. So I'm going to pop that over the corner of the page. And then I made these. These are from Scrap Ann. These, uh, what do you call them? Paper clip covers. And I made a ton of these. I had one day. I just sat and kept making and making and making. I want to pop that on there. So that'll dangle off. Then I have these made ahead. I made a bunch of these. Um, just a little a little pocket. I just sat and made a whole bunch one day. Some different fabrics, a, stain, um, a ticket. I put a little card inside with a... Stay is a charming word in a friend's vocabulary. Louise May Alcott. So I stuck that in. So I'm going to, I think, put that here. Just cut the shape out of scrapbook paper, old book page. I think I'll go down the sides. Do I want to go across the bottom? Yeah, I will. I was thinking about making it a double, a double pocket, but. And 
this is just scrapbook paper from a paper pad from Walmart. Nothing digital from anyone. But this is an old ad out of a, a magazine. There we go. Okay, we've got that. There's another little simple pocket. Oh no, this is, um, I made five or six of these. This is um, Rachel's challenge, Roxy's creation, her weekly challenge. It was a corner. It was a challenge with book page. Take your book page, fold it in half. Well, first we fold it up. I'm gonna sneeze. Fold it in half. Whew, excuse me. Did our little punch. And it just goes on a corner. Like this. And I suppose you could glue it. You could also do it this way. Which is kind of cute. And then you could put a belly band across there. Hmm, thinking. Or I could attach this. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, what I'm going to do, just talked myself into, I'm going to glue the top of it on so it'll stay in place. I'll go a little bit this way more. I'm going to attach that. So see what I've got? The bottom is flopping about. And I want that tucked under. This can stay there. And I'm going to glue this last little scrap on here. I haven't even had my coffee yet. I made it. Yesterday I had to... Um, Clean my coffee pot, it was ridiculously slow. So slow. I think I'll go up again, a little higher. So, today it was quite fast. Oh, I love that. Cute. I'm gonna go set about tearing some books apart. There we go. Okay, that's quite cute. I need something to stick in there. A little playing card. I need to um, dig into my ephemera and fill it up. Right now I just want to get some pockets and tucks on. Okay, we've got this and this. Here's the other side. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna attach that to. That's not going anywhere, is it? Okay, have some blank ones for a bit. Ooh, save that. See, I'm gonna save that. That's even cute. So then I made, um, I'll tell you what this is. Those single serve pizza boxes from the gas station. This is the lid where you see the pizza and you go, mmm, that looks good. Well, I saved the lid and I turned it into a little Thing. A little thing. Took a book page from a rose magazine, glued a butterfly on, put some lace on the back, stamped it, and slide it in. I just covered around the edge of the, um, hmm, I should go get a pizza again today. That sounds good. I'm going to just glue this on. That's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to stay in the gold and the green 
theme. And this is just something I backed it with. Actually, I think it looks like an envelope piece, piece of. So I don't have any plans for today. It's supposed to be really, really hot this week, 90s to 100s. But if you know Iowa, it's not like 90 to 100 Arizona. It's 90 to 100 with 80% humidity. So you want to do all your lawn mowing and work outside early. Get your flowers watered in the early morning or night before. I have a lot of flowers, so. Um, Hi, you baby, baby kitty. What's up, you? Talk to my cat like it's, I don't know, a child. So there's that. I love you. Yes, you're such a pretty boy. Okay. This is um, a piece of cardstock. Actually, you know those packs you buy at Walmart? Hi, honey. Uh, they're just scraps. I don't even know where I have them. Just tons of scraps. I took uh, sheet music, folded it under, and cut the little um, circle punch thing out, like maybe a half inch. And I just stacked one on the other. I actually did real tall ones too. So I think we'll go here with this one. This needs grunged up. He wants to, what he doesn't, he doesn't go outside, my cat, but he likes me to open the door so he can just sit in the house and look out. Never been out. He was born in my closet. <laughs> He was born to live in the house. And um, I don't let him out. He's my baby. I don't want him to get hit by a car or anything. I want him to stay flea free and rabies free and all those things. I do have, his mother is outdoors. She was a rescue. When I rescued her, I didn't know she was with child. She was actually with four children. So I kept one. Everybody goes, oh, you better keep a friend for her. She hates him. She hisses at him. He walks by and she's like, she makes noises at him. He just looks at her like he doesn't know about those in the native wild sounds because he's such a sweet, innocent little boy, aren't you? But she prefers to be outside, so I just let her go. She's got all her... Well, she's declawed, but she's spayed or neutered or whatever you do to a female. She got fixed. So I don't have any fear of that. I did my responsible duty there. Let's just, this isn't, this is just a, let me see how this will work. This is just a test. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Then I took one of these. You know what these are. These are those receipts you buy at Walmart. Receipt book. This is the yellow one. I backed it with a book page. Glued a doily on just to, you know, give it more stability. Folded the end over like a point. Folded this up and folded this over. I thought this could be some kind of a tuck thing. I don't know. Um, but do I want to glue it at the top? So it, I think yes. I've never done this before. I think that's what I'll do. Just to keep it there. Let's see, it either works or it doesn't work, right? Oh, wait a minute, what am I doing? Is that what I want to do? Well, it's too late now. Let's do this. Let's get this back on here. Okay, so that works. That'll be okay. Let's stick this under there. Yeah, that'll be okay. 
That'll be cute. What about this side? Um, maybe I'll leave it long and glue it on one side. Let's see. I don't have anything. Um, yeah, if I glue it down this side, it'd be a tuck like this. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That'll work. stick that in there so I remember what I was doing. That'll work. That's a good idea. I can embellish this with some lace or something. Um, where's my lace? Well, I'll do that on the next one. I want to just keep going here. And I have this pocket I made. I think this was a Rachel's challenge. No, this was something I did on my own. This is an envelope. I folded the bottom end up. So envelope, folded it up about a little more than a third. I notched this end. There's the back of the envelope. I cut a notch. I tucked some paper in there contrasting, glued that inside. So I made a pocket there. I glued this side, so I've got a pocket there. I made a bunch of these ones too. That's been a while. Let's see, how about we put this <clears throat> on the inside back. I think I'll do that. I do love this glue. This is a new one. I like the smell too. I'm not going to sit and sniff it, but I'm telling you, I like the smell of this glue. <laughs> oh, she's a druggie. No, I'm not a druggie. It's just got a good smell. But boy, does it stick. I just, you just can always count on it working. Especially when you don't lose the lid. There we go. And I think I'll put it to the center outside. Look at that, I painted. I have an antique uh, sewing machine base. You know, the old iron scrolly black. And it was given to me by a relative and it has a top on it with like, one of the sides was missing, but they have hinges and they flip up. So I removed both of those. I repainted it the base black the other day. I painted the wood green, like a green green, like a 19, like this green. And then I painted black over that and sanded it down a little bit so the green's peeking through. And I'm going to put it beside my bed. It's just darling, absolutely darling. Okay, so I need to get some of his tags done that come with the kit. The kit is just packed full of stuff. This is what I'll use for my... Um, sticking in my things, sticking in my things. So we'll go through that yet. But yeah, this is, this is going to be good. Okay. Then I'm going to take that out. What's this here? This is something else I made. Oh, I made these little bags. I can make some of these on screen. Everybody's made these. I mean, there's lots of these out there. Take a piece of scrapbook paper. Fold it over. I folded this one. It's a lot of people go to the center. I folded it almost to the edge. <clears throat> and I have the seam right here where I, I just made a circle, like a circle. A bag. And I folded the bottom up. And I clipped them to angles. But I made this little gusset too. So 
that is cute. So that could either glue on, but I'd be hiding this pretty paper, or it could be another pocket somewhere. Let's see. Um, or no, I don't want to do that. That's too big for there. That doesn't look good. I think I will. It's going to fill up fast. I think I will put it on here. This will give this page, actually, yeah. Um, what I was thinking about, I was thinking about his kit. I, pat I matched these up. There was this, there were like, to me, it was clear that there were five patterns. And I've divided them into sets of, of um, two pages. I need to reprint because not pretty. One of these was pretty neutral. This one's neutral, but it does go well with that pink. Um, I just had a thought about using one of these. Oh, fumble, fumble. Cover this. Nope, I don't want to do that. That was my thought. That's already gone from my head. It's gone from the head. Oh, gosh, my granddaughter gets mad at me when I talk like I'm from England. She thinks it's dumb. Grandma, that's dumb. You're not from England. Don't, don't let people hear you do that. That's pretty, isn't that pretty? You know what? That just might. I don't. That might be really pretty. Oh! All these little surprises. I kind of don't want to waste it. Because I want to hoard it. Ah, I think I will just tear it and add it. This has, yeah, it has lines. Let's see how that's going to fit. I eliminate. I had no intention of doing this. Oh, Joey, what am I doing to your kit? I'm giving it a new life. And the next person will do something completely different. You know what's weird? This fits. Perfect. Bye, George. Clean up a bit. I'm going to put a piece of this on. And I wonder if I coffee dyed this if it um, run the run the ink. I don't remember where I printed this. Sometimes mine at home does. When I go to the library, they have this fabulous fabulous printer and I don't think it runs 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 yeah runs leaks smudges there we go Let's see. I think I'll switch to this ink or ink. 
some glue. Now, if I was going to do a second one of these, which I will, because I have the rest of his kit, I think I'll do it on the sewing machine and I'll run a stitch around it, which I could still do, but boy, is it a pain. Getting too much stuff in here now. Okay. Do I want that on the inside? No. There we go. And just like that, we have a party page. Okay, the whole point of that was to get a pretty background for this. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. And this is just a Walmart paper pad. I think it's Paper Studio. <sighs> Very pretty pad. Feel the sneeze coming on again. Something must be <coughs> blooming. Whew, I don't have allergies either. This weather is so crazy. We're not seeing the fires anymore from Canada, but boy, they were heavy. And that last Sunday was the worst day. It was absolutely completely a foggy mess see how this oh this is so cute so you've got the little there so i can fill that with some of his tags i think that's all i have planned i've got um you know some pieces of ephemera to stick in here and there got a couple pieces in there That'll stick in. Actually, this would be cute in here. Oh, come on. Take a tiny bit off. There we go. All right. A dangle, a dangle, a dangle de doo. I think I'm going to put one of these on because he had a, this book belongs to, and I have some rusty, I should rest this up, rusty um, brads. Oh, yeah. That looks good. These are rusty. Ooh. There we go. See, now that would be cute. That would be so cute on there. I'm going to do that right now. I wonder if I should break these off. Maybe. And just glue the head on. Um, I 
Let's just see. That's not the ones I wanted. This is what I wanted. Let's just see here. Take a little of the bulk off. I don't know. Boy, that is some tough stuff. I need my real wire cutters. This is not a good idea. Are you serious? You're not going to win. You are not going to win. I want to go see that movie Sound of Freedom today. I haven't, I can't believe I haven't seen it. Um, I've been too busy. I babysat all week. By the time, I'm, I'm, this is scrapped. I'm not doing that. I need my actual real life wire cutters. I need to do that ahead of time. Now that I wasted a couple minutes. There. Okay, this goes up. I'm either going to be happy about this or mad that I did it. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Kitty had a cute little tag to put in there somewhere. I'm now I'm not going to find it. Well, I will sort that out. Here it is. This is the pink one. I know he had it in different colors. See, look at these. Oh, well, I'll find it. See, look at me. I don't want to quit looking. That's what I want to put in there. There. Okay. I think that's enough for today. That is cute. So we've added the dangles. Put the book plate on. Stuffed a pocket. Stuffed a belly band. Added a little bag. Put this envelope on. And I stamped this, by the way. This is one of those stamps from 1924 Linens and More. I've uh, added this belly band out of an old book binding. Added the envelope with the um, paper clip tab cover thingy from Scrap Annie. Oldest, oldest Zena is her name on Instagram, but Scrap Annie is her uh, YouTube channel. Double pockets that I need to stuff yet. Um, let's see what's sticking here. Pocket here. That I need to stuff. Double pocket. Added this, another one. Oh, I didn't realize I did one on each side. Oh, well. A pizza box <laughs> lid. Pizza box. See, that's a good reason you can justify ordering, getting one of those little pizzas. We all know what they are. We love them. Double, triple pocket, actually. Let's see how this goes. We got one, supposedly. There we go. One, two, three. Okay. I've got this little thingy. 
Then there's the back side. I need to put some lace down this or something yet. I'll do a bunch of lace one day. Put this on here, a double pocket. And that's it. That's it so far. Okay, guys, I'm going to clean up. I'm going to enjoy my Sunday. You have a nice, peaceful, restful, blessed day. And I will be back to do some more work on this. I want to do this start to finish. Bye-bye.